You must be thinking about making a move to Leewood, Kansas. Well, today is your lucky day because I've put together a vlog tour of three homes in Leewood at different price ranges. I'm gonna take you on a tour and show you exactly why Leewood is an amazing place to live. <music> My name is Max Jones. My partner Zach and I with the Mojo Real Estate team have been in business for over 20 years helping people just like you move to Kansas City and to Leewood. Don't take our word for it. Hop on Google, check us out. We have over 600 Google reviews online and you can hear what other people have to say about us. We're thrilled that you're here. Hit the like button and subscribe if you want to be notified about more future videos about Kansas City. Stick around to the end because I'm going to go over my notes and show you the number one reason why Leewood is an awesome place to live. Let's head to the first house. All right, here we are at our first of three homes on our Leewood vlog tour. And we are in the woodlands, looking at this home here. We're on the, it's on a corner lot, and we're looking at the side of it. We're gonna walk around to the front. Um, but it is fairly new to the market, just on the market eight days. Um, it is listed at 675,000, uh, which is kind of your entry level price point for Leewood. And you can find less expensive homes, but they're, they're few and far between. Um, this one is uh, priced at 168 bucks a foot. So that's a pretty reasonable price point um, for Leewood, price per square foot wise. Uh, definitely better than you'll find in adjacent neighborhoods or, or cities like Prairie Village and Mission Hills. Um, so it's 4,000 square feet and it's a four bedroom, five bath, three car, story and a half, meaning the master is on the main level there it is and um, has a finished basement so here in the woodlands you've got big mature trees and sidewalks and uh, neighbors walking their dogs so <laughs> I don't have any treats <laughs> uh, and then the third car is around the back here so really nice corner lot beautiful subdivision quiet and yeah so that's what you get in Leewood for 675 and we'll head to the next one um, number two on our tour is a patio home uh, so it has some maintenance provided whereas this this does not uh, uh, there's no maintenance on this one but yep yeah, let's head over to number two and check it out Here we are at our second home of three on our vlog tour of Leewood. And we are in a community of patio homes called Mission Reserve. And uh, you can see right there through the, through the gap between the homes, there's a nice little pond with a bridge and fountain. The nice thing about patio homes is they usually come uh, with maintenance provided. So here at this subdivision, uh, the maintenance uh, includes the lawn, Lawn well, trip to the includes the lawn maintenance and the snow hole, um, and uh, the trash bag up. So that is two thousand. I think it's like twenty one hundred dollars, like two times a year uh, for the maintenance. There's no exterior building maintenance. Sometimes you'll get that provided also, but in this case, um, on this home here behind me, that would not be included. You have to take care of the maintenance of your home, of your exterior of your house. Uh, this one is down to uh, $1,150,000, down $50,000 from original list price at 1.2. And it is 4,400 square feet, so that puts it at $257 per square foot, which is pretty good price, really, for Leewood. Uh, we are on the clear on the south side of Leewood. Leewood is a pretty, I believe it's 15 square miles. Um, 
but it is pretty big and it's kind of um, stretched all along the Kansas state line, Kansas, Missouri state line. And um, we're clear at the south side. So I'll do a map video, which shows a little more about Leewood and all the different locations, but 435 highway intersects Leewood and we're clear down here on the south side. Um, these homes were built in 2007 and a lot of them are reverse story and a half where the master is on the main level, but the basement is finished. So all of the secondary bedrooms are downstairs. It's a really popular floor plan for empty nesters. You know, when they, uh, kids are gone and they, they move to a uh, maintenance provided patio home and have everything they need on the main level. So uh, really charming little, little uh, cul-de-sac here. But this is the second home on our tour. Uh, for the third home on the tour, I'm gonna take you to a, an amazing home in Hallbrook that is 15,000 square feet. So it is a monster. So uh, let's head on down to Hallbrook and I will see you there. Okay, here we are at our third and final home for the Leewood vlog tour. And we are in Hallbrook, which is one of not only Leewood, but Kansas City's most premier subdivisions. And we're in a house here. It's a monster. It's 14,000 square feet uh, with 14 bathrooms. <laughs> Believe it or not, seven bedrooms and a five-car attached garage. Uh, it's it's something else. Uh, they're asking 3.25 million, and they're down from 3.5, so they've made a 250,000 dollar price reduction, and they've been on the market for 175 days. So probably a little still overpriced, but um, but not unheard of. Uh, in in Hall in uh, Hallbrook, and not a bad price per square foot, really. Two hundred nineteen dollars a square foot has a slate roof. It is just a stunner. Um, so much to like about it. To go into the details about the inside, um, it's a Fritzl construction, and it was built in nineteen ninety five. But you can see here the the five car garage. It's on the corner, um, but more importantly, the than this house, it's really the the subdivision of Hallbrook is uh, one of the best in Leewood. It's on the south side of Leewood, and and the most expensive home, and the final one on our vlog tour. So we're gonna head back to my truck, and we're gonna talk about all the things. All the dogs dogs are on high alert here. Um, we're going to go back to my truck and we're going to talk about all of the things that make Leewood an amazing place to live. So stick around and I'm going to reveal the number one reason why I think Leewood's a great place to live. And let's go. Okay, so we've seen three homes on the vlog tour, and now that we've seen them, I wanna go over my notes and let you know about everything that makes Leewood an amazing place to live. So Leewood is 14.5 square miles, and it's in Johnson County, Kansas, of course, um, and it's bordered by Overland Park and Prairie Village on the, I guess that would be the west side, and on the east side is State Line. So it's bordered by the whole state of Missouri on the, on the east side. Um, it was developed, uh, well, it's 75% developed and it's growing. So there's still room to grow in Leewood. And right now it's at a population of 34,000 people. Uh, it was originally incorporated in 1948 um, with a big housing development by the Crow Brothers, K-R-O-H. Uh, and it was named after Oscar J. Lee, who was an original landowner. 
and I guess he came up from Oklahoma. He was a law enforcement guy back in the day, and um, and they named Leewood after after Oscar Lee. Some of the famous people in Leewood uh, include the founder of Hallmark Cards, Joyce Clyde Hall. They call him J.C. Hall, and one of the big real estate companies, uh, old real estate companies in Kansas City. It was called J.C. Nichols. I think there's some affiliation there. In fact, uh, Reese Nichols was a big developer of uh, the Plaza and Mission Hills and in Kansas City. So far as schools go, uh, amazing schools in Leewood. You've got two school districts that service Leewood as far as public schools go, which is uh, Blue Valley School District and Shawnee Mission East. Right. So um, you've got the Blue Valley North, and Blue Valley and Shawnee Mission East, I believe, are the high schools. A couple of great things as far as entertainment goes for Leewood are Iron Horse Golf Course, and then uh, also there uh, is Hallbrook Golf Course, which uh, we did, a, the third house was on in Hallbrook, so it has a, a golf course there as well. City Park is a 66 acre park in Leewood that's amazing. Um, there's also uh, Tomahawk Creek Parkway and Prairie Fire Museum is a great place for the kids. I think they have some um, some animal bones and it's a great place for to take the kids. Uh, Breakout KC is a great place for to go with your friends and they lock you up and you have to try and break out of these different scenarios to get out of the room. Um, shopping as far as Tremendous shopping in Leewood. You've got Town Center Plaza, um, Town Center Crossing, Mission Farms, Park Place. Park Place, in fact, has the first hotel uh, in Leewood called, it's called Aloft Hotel. Uh, so it's really kind of an awesome place for shopping. The cost of living is not inexpensive in Leewood. So, uh, in fact, they say that it's in the top 20% of the most expensive cities in the world to live. Uh, but it, that's why it's a great place to live. Um, so the medium income is, or median income is 134,000. And uh, the median housing price is 391,000 with the median rent being 1,800 a month. Uh, no earnings tax in Leewood. Uh, that's just in Kansas City, Missouri, I believe, the 1% earnings tax. Uh, but the sales tax is a little on the high side at 9.11, but really not out of the ordinary for the area. Uh, and then the property tax for real estate taxes is expensive. It's uh, 24.076 mil. So for every $1,000 of assessed value, you have uh, $24 in tax. And some of the other areas are in the 18, 19, you know, some of the other areas comparable to Leewood. So definitely high on the property tax rate. For grocery options, you've got amazing grocery stores. Trader Joe's is down here in Leewood, which, you know, my, I know my wife would love to have a Trader Joe's where we live uh, in Liberty, but, um, not yet. So the head of Trader Joe's is listening. Then we would would like more of those around Kansas City. This is an awesome grocery store. But also you have Hen House and Constantino's, Price Chopper, High V, Sprouts. Uh, you're not gonna go start hungry and Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> you know, as far as that goes, there's awesome uh, gro uh, restaurants too in Town Center Plaza. I mean, it's chock full of the best restaurants in town. Really, it's adjacent to Overland Park, so Overland Park is probably the most populous, most booming area in Kansas as far as the cities and suburbs go. So really, you kind of get out to Leewood and it's more residential and a little less commercialized, but you have access to everything in Overland Park, so it's kind of the best of both worlds. Best neighborhoods in Leewood, I just would say Hallbrook, where we just came from on our third home on the tour. And Iron Horse is uh, another golf course community that's an awesome neighborhood. I, there was nothing available in Iron Horse when, uh, otherwise I would have taken you guys there, but maybe we'll do a subdivision tour of Iron Horse specifically to dig into the details of Iron Horse. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, as far as the crime goes, A plus ratings as far as crime, virtually non-existent. I mean, you'll find 
you know, little petty theft kind of stuff, but um, nothing to be concerned of. And as far as the national average goes, well below the, na I mean, 10% of the national average for crime. Uh, I don't think there's any murders in the, in the past year or so. Not to end our video on a murder note, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I think Leewood is a fantastic place to live. If you live in Leewood already and you think we've missed something on the video, hit us up. We would uh, love to hear your feedback. Um, and this is not meant to be an all-inclusive video. This is more of a taste, a taste of Leewood. And, you know, dip your toe in the pool of Leewood. And, um, you know, if you're thinking about moving here, whether you're out of town or whether you're, you're uh, you know, whether you live in another area of Kansas City and are moving to Leewood, hit us up. We would love to dig into the details and, um, you know, about the areas specifically, the certain subdivisions that we recommend or that you might be interested in. We'd love to show you properties. My prop, my uh, partner and I, Zach, we've been living here for um, our whole lives and selling real estate for over 20 years in the Kansas City area and in Leewood. So we would love to hear from you anytime. Just reach out, plus drop a DM or comment. Um, also, our number will be in the description below. So if you hit that number, it'll ring to our whole team. And, uh, and yeah, we would love to hear from you. We would love to help you. And we appreciate you being here and watching this video. So if you want to hit the like button and subscribe and be notified when we have more videos. In fact, I'm going to do a map video of Leewood and uh, go, go over the map and point out all the areas that I'm talking about. So you'll really get some context on, on where Lee, Leewood is in Kansas City and where the areas are in Leewood that I'm talking about. So stay tuned for the map video and we will see you there.